Hey loves, welcome back. So today's video, I'm gonna be trying out a flawless foundation hack, a complete change up of a normal standard foundation routine using some instructions that I'm seeing all over TikTok. If you haven't got TikTok, you might not wanna get it because it just, you just lose hours of your day. <laughs> you lose hours of your day. It's super entertaining, but sometimes you also get some amazing kind of beauty and life hacks. And that's exactly what we're gonna try out today. TikTok, you cheeky little thing, you. I've recorded the TikTok in question on my son's iPad because obviously I wouldn't let him have TikTok because he's five. Um, so I'm gonna play it, follow the instructions and see if it works. But apparently from all the TikToks I've seen, this hack gives you the most flawless, most beautiful, most filter-like foundation. The steps are really, really strange and back to front. My brain doesn't quite comprehend how these steps are gonna work. I'm feeling that it might be cakey and thick and I uh, just, we'll see, you'll see. We'll go through it and you'll see what I mean. But hopefully this is gonna work and this might completely change up our foundation routine. The other thing I wanted to say is that every video I've seen of people using this hack, they are all incredibly young and most of them have incredibly perfect skin to begin with. So a 40 year old trying the same hack as all of these young, 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 beautiful ladies and gentlemen, we might not get the same results. Whilst you're here, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. So let's crack on and try the most flawless foundation routine of life. Right, so pause, pause. So she said moisturize first, which I've done. Then we're gonna take a translucent powder and apply that lightly all over our face. Already, already I'm like, no, come on. I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I'm gonna take a nice large fluffy brush. Just get my hair out of the way. Side note, I think I'm gonna to have to dye my hair myself. If you dye your hair at home, have you got any recommendations for a good, safe, permanent box dye? Let me know in the comments. Right, I'm gonna take my translucent setting powder and a light dusting all over. Step one, or well, step two, because moisturizers first, but a light dusting of powder first. Light dusting of powder. Done. Step number three. Oh wait, wait. Setting spray next, all over. I'm gonna go in with my faithful Urban Decay All Nighter. This is the pollution protection version. Uh, setting spray, I'm gonna be extra. <laughs> Try to be fancy then, it didn't work. I'm gonna be extra, get my fan. Setting spray, goodness. Moisturizer powder setting spray. Okay. Let it dry. Or fan your face if you're feeling fancy. Has my upper arm workout for the day completed? Okay, so we've done moisturizer powder, setting spray. Next. Oh, missed that bit. Hold on, rewind. Primer. Next, and she did the lovely hand motion all over. Primer now. Anyone else going, no, what? My whole makeup process brain is screaming right now. Primer, she said all over, like that. But I'm gonna go for the Smashbox, the original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. This is a little mini one. My face already feels producty, but we've gotta follow the instructions. Primer, is this not just gonna pull up everything I've applied? I'm gonna apply this really, really gently because I've already got powder and setting spray. Okay, primer. This is very strange, isn't it? Excuse my double jointed fingers. What's next? Oh, swear. Okay, so it says now 
foundation and then we're going to be amazed at how bleeping and fabulous our foundation is going to look. I'm going to go for one of my favourites. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. It's just a good one, really. And my beauty blender. And we're going to put this on top and we're going to be amazed at how flawless our foundation looks. I'm not going to look close up in the mirror just yet. I'm just going to apply this and then I'm going to stand back and be wowed, apparently. I can't help myself. I need to have a sneak peek. Wow. When I first saw the video, and I've seen plenty since of other people, you know, using the audio, following the instructions and also being blown away, I just didn't quite get it, didn't understand how powder setting spray primer foundation completely back to front how that would work my skin is actually looking really really nice i thought that it might go really cakey and bunchy and almost ball up and it hasn't this color isn't the best match right now but when i have like everything else on it does i promise it does kind of balance out a little bit what do you think it looks really fresh and dewy and almost a little bit more smoother i'm going to take my phone off for the tripod and see if i can give you a bit more of a close-up view let me take this off and we'll see my skin does look really really nice it does look incredibly even is this going to be something i will do every single day probably not probably because i'm not going to remember it's so instinctive you know when you do your makeup you do a lot of the steps without even thinking um like your subconscious kind of kicks in doesn't it and you automatically do your primer foundation concealer powder perhaps this is going to require me to actually remember remember the steps and remember to actually you know do it i'm really impressed and incredibly incredibly surprised i didn't think that this was gonna work. If you've not tried this TikTok foundation hack, you need to try it and then let me know in the comments how it went, what you thought, how it wore. I'm definitely gonna see how this wears throughout the day. And if and you know if anything changes or I'm absolutely blown away, I'll update you in the description box below. <laughs> there you go. I was actually expecting this to be a hot mess of disaster and for me to say this is why you shouldn't follow TikTok beauty hacks, but it hasn't gone that way at all. Who knew? Who knew? But please, please let me know if you try it. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and, and subscribe if you're new here. It means the world to me. And make sure you turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will speak to you really soon. Take care.